my channel. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be all drugstore slash affordable makeup. The reason I say slash affordable is because it's not all necessarily at the drugstore, but it's affordable brands that you can get like online as well. Um, the reason for making this video is because I just recently made a purchase from ColourPop and I got several products in that I really wanted to try and ColourPop is a very affordable brand so I thought I would just do an all affordable makeup look. So this is the look that I came up with today. I just kind of was winging it literally because I wanted to use this wing liner so I just kind of based everything around that. But yeah, this is the look that I came up with so if you guys like it and want to see how I got it then please keep watching. Okay, so I already filled in my brows because that just takes a long time and no one wants to sit and watch that. But as you can see, they are really dark. Um, that's probably my mistake for picking the wrong color. But this is called, what's the color? Black and Brown. It's the brow pencil from ColourPop. And my brows are pretty dark, but they're not this dark. So I'm not sure what the next shade down would be. But um, I didn't really love it. I felt like I was having to twist it up a lot. like I was going through the product really fast like it was really soft I feel like it's not going to stay on as well as the Anastasia brow pencil but that's what I use today and I mean it's okay for the price and it worked it's just really dark and then to set them I used the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara 02 Brownie Brows just a brown shade so I use that to set them and then I already prepped my eyes with concealer and powder so moving on I'm gonna start with the eyes today and I am using the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette um, this was just online but now you can get it at Ulta and it looks like this I've had mine for a while now I'm going to start with this middle shade right here and put that in my crease as a transition and if my um, lid space is looking a little dark like I don't know if it's shown on camera but in person the brush that I used to set my lids was the brush that I just used on my husband for his Halloween makeup and I quickly wiped it off on a tissue before I started but um, yeah, it didn't really help completely because the eyeshadow that I used on that brush for him was straight up black. So, kind of gave a little bit of a gray gas to my eyes, but hopefully you won't be able to tell once it's all said and done. But I thought it was kind of funny because I hate cleaning makeup brushes, so I just didn't do it. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the color next to it. It's kind of a light mauve color. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to switch brushes. I was using a fluffy brush. This one's a little bit more dense. And I'm going to take this shade right here. It's kind of a plummy burgundy color. And I'm just going to put that right in the outer V area. Just kind of tap it on. And then slightly blend it into the crease. And I will go back and add some more of this later after I do my liner. I'm just going to kind of go in with nothing on that bigger fluffy brush and just blend it out so it's all nice and smooth. Then I'm going to take the first shade in the palette. It's just like a creamy, like one of those bone colors. And I'm just going to pack that onto the inner part of my lid just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm not doing anything shimmery today. I'm also going to put it under the brow. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that for now, and then the liner that I got is called Best O, kind of a burgundy-ish 
color. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm just going to use that and create myself a little wing. And these are only like five bucks, I think. All of ColourPop is pretty affordable. So if you're looking for a gel liner, and they're not all colors like this one, of course, they have like the standard black as well. I cannot talk and do this at the same time. down to the ground what goes around comes around you won't put the flame out you can't get to me say what you want to say go take it off now that I have that on I'm gonna go back in and use I'm gonna use this pencil brush and that darker color again and just go in like right here right above the liner where it meets into the crease and just ever so gently make it a little bit darker but I'm trying to not really touch the liner because I don't want to mess it up and then I'll go back in with a smaller blending brush like this one and just kind of blend it out so there's no harsh lines So now I can put on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. It's my favorite mascara in general, not just from the drugstore. So I'm just going to apply some of that just to the tops to prep for falsies. I will do the bottom after I've done my face makeup. And then the lashes that I'm using today are the Salon Perfects in, I think they're 614. And these come like in a four pack. You can get them, I think you can get them in individual sets, but I get like the four pack and I get mine from Walmart and they're pretty cheap. So I'm just going to pop those on. So when it comes to applying false lashes, false lashes and wing liner I feel like are the biggest feats when it comes to doing your makeup. So, first of all, I get my mirror super close. And then, the biggest thing is waiting for your lash glue to get tacky. You have to be patient or it's going to come back and bite you. So, um, let it sit for like 30 seconds and get tacky. And then, I just go in. I have tweezers so it makes it a lot easier. And I'm holding the lash in the center of the band. Or not the band, the lashes. And then I'm going to apply it right in the center of of my lid and make sure it's nice and secure. Get it as close to your natural lashes as you possibly can. And then you can go and attach the edges. It doesn't matter if you do inner or outer first, just a personal preference. So make sure it's nice and snug against your lashes. And if the lash glue were too wet, then it would just be sliding all over when you were trying to adjust it. Whereas if it's tacky, you can still adjust it for a minute, but it will stay a lot more easily. And you can kind of close your eye and make sure that it is all attached all the way across. Really make sure you get that inner corner down because that is like where it always wants to pop up. I'm just going to go ahead and pop on the other ones. Okay, so now this one's dried a little bit, and I just go in right along the base. Be careful not to poke yourself in the eye. And just kind of gently squeeze the falsies with your lashes, and that will kind of help blend them together. And 
And then depending on how your um, glue dries, you might want to go over the um, lash band. Mine's still kind of dry and you can see where it's a little bit white right there. But once it dries, you might want to go over with whatever color um, liner you use. Okay, so while those finish drying, I'm going to move on to my face. And for primer, I am using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, I don't really use this on my whole face, just in the center where I have larger pores, mostly right there on my cheeks, and then a little bit on my nose and my chin and the center of my forehead. And then with kind of whatever is left on my fingers, I will cover the rest of my face. Then for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is in the shade 105 Natural Beige. And L'Oreal has like my favorite foundations, like not even just high-end or drugstore. They're just some of my favorite foundations in general. The original True Match has been my favorite for so long. And then they came out with the True Match Lumi in the pump, which I really love. And then they came out with the Lumi Cushion, which... I only don't love because it's very sheer, um, which is great for people that don't need a lot of coverage and it's just a great everyday, kind of even out your skin tone type of thing, but I have a lot to cover up and that just doesn't really work out for me, but for those of you who don't need more, it is definitely a good option. But then they came out with the Infallible Pro Matte and Pro Glow, and I really like both of those as well. And then... Um, also, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless is also a really good drugstore one. And I'm just applying this right now with a sponge from Real Techniques. It's kind of like a beauty blender, but it's a lot cheaper. It's like 6 bucks versus like 20 And you just run it under the water a few times and let it get all puffed up. You're supposed to use these damp and then just kind of pounce it all over your skin. And don't forget to bring foundation down your neck also. That way, if it's not exactly the right color, it kind of helps disguise it a little bit. So then for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is just the light one. I've also used the neutralizer. Um, this is just a brand new one, so I thought I would use that. Um, so again, Maybelline is a really good drugstore brand. I also have, um, what else do I have? I have their Master Conceal um, Concealer, and then I have the NYX HD Concealers. Um, I have several concealers, but I definitely I can think of those two offhand that are popular from the drugstore, as well as this one. So I'm just putting that underneath my eyes to brighten and also down the center of my face. And then again, I'm going to blend that out with my Real Techniques sponge. And this is also a good time where if you messed up at all on your shadow or your liner, you can kind of run it right up under there and clean it up. Okay, so to go ahead and set my concealer before it creases, I am using the um, Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and this is the, what shade is this? The Dolce de Leche, and I'm going to use this light shade right here just to set my under eye. And I'm also going to use that in the center of my face where I put that concealer. Okay. So then, for the rest of my face, I am using this Airspun Powder. You can get it at Walmart. The one thing I will say about this is it has a very strong scent like your grandma's perfume. It's what it smells like. It doesn't like linger and stay with you all day, but you can definitely smell it when you open it up. Um, I also like the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, that one you just have to purchase online but it doesn't have um, a scent like this one, but it's also a good, affordable, loose, translucent powder option. So I'm just going to set the rest of my face with that using the same damp sponge. You could also use a brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes before I do the rest of my face. I think I will take that same little blending brush that I used 
earlier to blend out that darker color and I'm going to take the um, tan shade and the mauve shade that I used in my crease and I'm just going to kind of buff that along the lower lash line and then I will take a flat definer brush like this one and take that darkest color and just press it right up against the base of my lashes. And then lightly with that same brush, just kind of blend it out so there's no harsh lines. So now, moving back to the face. I'm going to use the um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is a little bit more of um, an expensive, drop a brush, um, expensive brand at the drugstore, but it's still at the drugstore nonetheless. And this smells very much like coconut. So I'm just going to use this to bronze up the face. I also have the um, NYX Matte Bronzer that comes in a few different shades. Um, Maybe like a light, medium, and dark. Um, I really like that one as well. I'm using this brush that I just got when I made that ColourPop purchase. I also purchased some brushes from Morphe and a couple of them are the eye brushes that I used. This is the M527. And Morphe brushes is like an affordable brush brand. I know a lot of people on YouTube use these brushes. That's where I got the recommendations for the ones that I purchased. Then I'm going to use this other brush that I just got from Morphe. It is the 523, like that, obviously dirty. And I'm going to use the um, contour side from that Wet n Wild palette. I'm just going to pop that into the hollows of my cheeks. For blush, I'm using the Morphe 9B palette, and I'm going to do a little mixy of this middle shade right there, and this like mauve plummy shade down here. I'm very gentle with these, tap off the excess, because they are very pigmented. Moving on to highlight, as I said, there are four highlights in the Carly Bible palette three highlights and then more of like a bronzer unless you're like really really dark skin um, I've used these several times and I really like them but I want to use my new highlights I just got from ColourPop and this is the shade might be it's a goldy color and then I also got the shade flexitarian which is a much lighter kind of champagne -y color they're literally like a butter. Like you can easily make dents in them. Like as you can see right there, they're like a cream almost. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the Might Be shade. I'm just going to pop that onto the tops of my cheekbones. And kind of bring it around in that C shape above my eyebrow. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Flexitarian and just put that on the very highest points of my cheeks. And then again on my cupid's bow. And on my nose. And then I'll take a smaller brush and that shade. And I'm just going to pop that onto the inner corners. Okay, so as you can see, that is like beaming off of my face. And then you can go in with your damp sponge and just kind of lightly pat over it. You can also spray some Fix Plus on it and just kind of tap over it just to kind of meld everything together so it doesn't just like stick out so much like it's laying on top of everything. Okay, so then for lips. I'm going to line with this pencil from NYX. It is in the shade Nude Beige. Oh, 
away But I'm here to stay No, you can't get to me And there is no barricade That I can tear away And then for lips, this is also from ColourPop And it is the Ultra Satin Lip And this one is in the shade Femme And then to add a little bit of dimension so it's not totally just like one color, I'm going to use a little bit of the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Vice. It is a very light, pinky toned shade. I'm just going to apply a little bit in the center and then just tap it out with my finger. Okay, so this is the finished look, all drugstore, all affordable, and it's kind of a monochromatic-y type of look. The lips are a little bit different, but definitely the liner and shadow, and ironically, my hair. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!